All right, I have to put the brakes on here and explain to you what the heck Flash is doing when we're drawing out our shapes. And everything that we talk about here is going to apply to all the different drawing and shape tools that we've seen so far, except for the primitive tools. For whatever reason, they're much more advanced <laughs> and they're much more easier to work with. So this stuff doesn't apply to those two tools. But for all the other tools, what happens is when we create a shape or create an object, we're actually using what's referred to as merge drawing mode. You might want to jot that down. So for example, I'm going to go and grab my just my plain straight up rectangle tool. And of course, over inside the properties panel, you can go and make some changes if you like. And I'm just going to throw down a quick rectangle. Now, when I demonstrate this, you're more than welcome to follow along. Or if you want, you can just kind of kick back and watch the show and maybe frantically scribble notes as I go here, because this is completely bizarre. And I've never seen another graphics application behave in this way. As I've said a number of times already, Flash is very unique in how it handles this by default. All right, so I throw down a regular old rectangle. Now, two things happen. First of all, what happens is we actually get two objects or two shapes. And we've already seen this briefly already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the toolbox and grab my selection tool. Now, we haven't talked really about selecting shapes and manipulating shapes and things like that. That's all coming up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the fill. And of course, as we know, the fill, when I click on it, gets filled in with this dotted pattern. And if I click and drag on that fill, I can actually separate the fill from the stroke, which is, again, completely bizarre. And if we're sitting here looking at this, we're scratching our heads going, what the heck is Flash thinking here? As a matter of fact, when we draw a rectangle, we actually get five objects. The fill is one object, and then each side of the rectangle is a separate object. So I can click on the right edge, for instance, and move him away or the top edge and move him away, or bend him as I just did there, something like that. It's completely and utterly bizarre, okay? So that's the first weird thing that Flash's drawing mode behavior does for us. Here's the second thing, and this isn't so much bizarre as it is downright frustrating. Watch this. I'm gonna go back to my rectangle tool, but this time, I'm going to remove my stroke. I don't want a stroke at all, so I'm going to drop the stroke all the way down to nothing. Okay, I'm just going to set that stroke to no stroke at all. Okay, fill color, whatever you want, doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and drag out a red rectangle, something like this. That's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll decide, all right, I want to create a second rectangle, which is going to be a different color, maybe a blue color. And I want it to overlap somewhat over top of the original red rectangle. And then maybe down the road at some point, I decide I want to move these shapes. Maybe my layout isn't quite sitting exactly right. Maybe I want to take this object and nudge them over to the right just a little bit. Well, check this out. What happens with merge drawing mode is when we overlap shapes that are different colors, those shapes actually behave like cookie cutters and cut holes in other shapes. Is that not the most bizarre thing you've ever seen. So check this out. I'm going to take my blue rectangle. I'll move them over top of the red rectangle, maybe deselect. And then I come back to this six months later and I go, oh, I got to move this guy up a little bit. Oh, wait, I can't because this shape is actually cutting away from the red rectangle or what was once a red rectangle. Now, I suppose you could use this to your advantage to create some weird, wacky shapes and things like this. But quite honestly, for myself, it's much more frustrating than it is useful. Okay, so let me do this one more time for you. I'm going to grab my rectangle or an oval. An oval would be another example. There's one shape. I'll flip over to my oval tool and I'm going to go and change the color. Maybe I'll create a red oval or a red circle, something like this. And quite literally, what happens is one shape cuts away from another shape, just like that. Completely bizarre. So that's the second aspect of the weird, bizarre, wacky merge drawing mode behavior. Now, Here's a third wacky thing that the merge drawing mode does. If the shapes are different colors, they cut away from one another, right? Or one cuts away from another. What happens if they're the same color? Well, check this out. There's one red circle. I'm going to go and draw another red circle. I'm going to make sure that they're touching, though. 
that one is overlapping the other, and now what happens is they merge together, hence the name merge drawing mode. So these two guys are now connected, which again, I suppose I could use to my advantage, but what if I wanted to make a minor adjustment, like maybe I wanted to shove the circle that's on the right over towards the left one just a little bit more? Well, it's a done deal. As soon as I draw out the shape, that's it. It's over, okay? So in my very, very humble opinion, this is completely useless, and it drives me crazy, I have to be honest, because I'm used to working in the way that Illustrator works, and every other graphics program, frankly, on the planet works exactly the same way as Illustrator. That is, objects are separate. They don't cut away from each other, things like this, right? Let me show you one more thing that is completely bizarre and unique to Flash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another shape, maybe another oval, but this time I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna throw on some kind of an outline, maybe, you know, nothing too thick, maybe about a one point or a two point outline, something like that is fine. Just draw this guy out, right? The other weird wacky behavior that the merge drawing mode will do for you is strokes get cut apart whenever they intersect with another stroke, okay? I'll show you a couple of quick examples of this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll grab a rectangle, and for good measure, maybe what I'll do is I'll change his color, just to some quick arbitrary color, and I'm gonna make sure that they're overlapping, okay? I'm gonna go back to my black arrow tool, and I'm gonna start pulling things apart, and I'm gonna see what I get. So there's the fill on the, uh, on the rectangle. There's the fill on the, the oval or the circle, now check out my paths or my outlines. There's one right there, and there's another one right there. So wherever these paths intersect, I wind up getting a new path or a new stroke, really, I should say. Let me show you another example of this really quickly. I'm gonna draw out a quick rectangle, something like this, and then I'll grab my line tool, and I'm gonna start chopping apart this shape, literally, like taking a knife to it and cutting it into tiny fragments like this. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be helpful or what the heck is going on, but again, I don't know of any other program that functions in this way, and I can't see any benefit to working in this way because when I come into Flash, now I've got to change my, I got to switch my brain over, I guess is what I'm trying to say, to the way that Flash is thinking, and I go, oh yeah, don't overlap the shapes because the strokes are gonna blow each other apart right? It's completely frustrating. I find it frustrating anyway. And again, completely useless. I would much rather make use of something called object drawing mode, which is what I'm going to show you how to work with next.